something has been announced. <laughs> yeah. When did An I announcement, you say? What I, could I, it be? I sent you – what time did I send you that text message? the microphone? I'm sorry. I sent, I sent uh, <laughs> Brian a text message like, look at this. And it was like at 7 o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. right, yesterday? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, NES. What's the name of the? What's the official name of the? Set? The Lego Nintendo Entertainment System. That's the name of it. Yep. Yeah. With no acknowledgement for the television at all. <laughs> nope. no. yeah. Uh Yes, the Lego uh, Nintendo Entertainment System is pretty sweet. It is pretty pretty sweet. Um, and uh, I was really really excited to see it, and I I was not expecting it at all. Yeah. Like in not even in the least. Was not yep. expecting it whatsoever. Yeah, it really did come out of left field. Right. It looks like just like it. It looks just like it, and it looks it relatively in proportion to the console itself. The controller looks in proportion to what it looks like in real life. There's all printed pieces on there. It it has the the building technique, the style that I've seen so many mocks do with the conveyor belt sort of repeating, yeah. you know, yeah. uh, aesthetic there. And now it's in, in an official Lego set. Like, this is something I could have seen come out of Lego Ideas. This sort of yeah, you know, for sure. yeah. style. Like, this to me, with, I, and I don't have my hands on it yet, but like, ha seeing what it is right here. Look at that it, little, oh man. Yeah, right? It, it comes off like a, like a quintessential Lego set because of how creative the, the build looks and then how it functions as well. I'm yeah. very, mm -hmm. very excited. Yep. It's crazy impressive, the whole mechanism. Like, yep. And having seen some of the behind-the-scenes pictures, and we obviously have to see it there, like the way they've attached brackets onto it so that you can put the Mario on top, and as you roll around the level, Mario can recognize oh, wow. what parts of the levels he's at. Yeah. Um, it's crazy, crazy cool. The, the, the amount of detail on the television, though, yeah. is really kind of amazing. It is. It is. Low tech. <laughs> Low tech on the decal on the bottom. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, that's just all those tiny little printed details on the television is just, I mean, look at the back too. The back sticker. It's like, they really went all out with it. That's so good. And the controller plugs in the cartridge goes in the console. I don't know what more you can yeah. want. I, you know, I'll, I'll be exactly. honest. My initial response to seeing that was a lot, uh, I think more emotional than my response to seeing all of the beautiful products oh, yeah, before no, us. That's understandable. I was like, okay, yeah. that's cool. You know, Hey, partnership is great. I, I want to see how it does. And hopefully it, you know, spawns into additional things. This was just like the pure joy of uh, nostalgia and just like, well, okay, I'm in. And yeah, I love the the interactivity there with the, how you can set the Mario on top. Yeah, that's so, so they, they didn't make this kind of separate from the rest of the sets that they made, but they worked together. Yeah, that's, that's a really cool way to bring it all together. And I think gives us a lot of hope too that, you know, like what we've seen of the Lego Super Mario isn't the end of the Lego Nintendo partnership. It's obviously yeah, because, really yeah. just the beginning. So, like, in what universe would anybody think that Lego would come out with a set that has a buildable CRT in it? <laughs> like, uh, yeah, like really, <laughs> like that is something that any like person over what thirty at least yes. would. would Right, like that could appreciate that type of thing. So, so that era was a little bit before me. I had those TVs like in spare rooms, like retro, where you could change it from color to black and white. It was that sort of time period. But you know, mm -hmm. my era was the Nintendo sixty four with the Zenith TV built in VHS player. So that's where my nostalgia lies. But for anybody, like I'm sure for you, Kevin, like that vibe, that aesthetic is like perfect yeah yeah absolutely that that's you know when brian and i talk all the time we we like to we compare talk time. <sighs> we talk sometimes <laughs> when we talk sometimes uh <laughs> when we're comparing notes over our our like childhood console that's when i really feel uh nice and ancient yeah um yeah. especially that first time we were like you know into six wait what'd you say gamecube well get 64 I, gamecube you were like kind of like that was what you were really sure. focused on and i'm like what yeah that was like high school level yeah <laughs> college i'm just you know hey so i'm just happy to be here yeah <laughs> right. and I, i'm glad that you're here for the nex reveal and, and all that like it's yeah it's so 
like and this is that's clearly for adults i've been saying in all my reviews this is clearly for kids i don't think the seven-year-olds are no. interested in they don't care television. what they'll be like what is a crt is it a touch screen no it's a it's a it's got tubes in it you know okay what's what's fast okay as a parent yeah of a six-year-old child i remember um a couple of months ago i was playing the nintendo game boy the gray brick the gray brick which i have one at home and my son was trying to use the screen as a yeah. touch screen yeah Classic. like he was trying you know the whole like pinch out and pinch in to zoom in and i was Classic. like no no that's not how this works no nope. um but it's just yeah i mean it's a totally different age range and a totally different target audience and just seeing like the like the printed nintendo logo on that nes controller it man i don't it just it it hit uh, it, it's something man yeah it's something and and all the one by ones that are printed as well you could absolutely change that to whatever mario level you wanted to that's a great thing about that too i i do want to do entire levels like i, I was saying to brian i would love to get some more of those printed coin tiles and the goombas um hopefully there's next quiz in the set well yeah i and i can only hope I really think it's doubtful because of probably uh, license locking, but I would love it if those printed uh, one by elements would be in like bricks and pieces yeah. on Lego.com. Yeah. I don't see mm -hmm. it happening, but like I'd love to, I mean, I think there's BrickLink, so we yeah. have other ways, but yeah. I would love to get a bunch of like the coins and the Goombas yep. to do like whole levels and the question blocks. Yeah. The question That's pretty good. It's good stuff. And you could easily make that. Well, I mean, not, as effectively i guess but like you could do mario world i guess if you really wanted to but then you know do you change the tv you got to have the console and whatnot and you know the, if they really wanted to they can make a snes like that i think it would lose a little bit of its luster if it went to n64 because that's 3d graphics but yeah and look in the i mean right here is perfect in the chat brickstar says it's true i wasn't interested in any of this until until now oh totally right done it, 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 Locked. it has appeal other than it being a Nintendo set too, because of that functionality with the crank and that conveyor belt type thing. And even and when you combine Mario, the very top of that conveyor belt, when you're sliding that into the TV, Mario reads the colors on top of that setup there, and it interacts live with you as you're cranking it through. So that's even more value out of Lego Super Mario. So if you, I, I can I can see it right now, Kevin. <laughs> You, you bring your kid into the Lego store August first. Envision, envision it, right? <laughs> bring your kid into the Lego store August first. Little little Timmy picking up Lego Super Mario. Dad gets the uh, the NES, uh, and, then, and then we have that yeah. Norman Rockwell painting. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you have the, the father son moment of of the son putting the Mario on top of the yep. CRT. Dad, dad has oh, the that's iconic. He's got dad's got the tear in the one eye, and he's yep. like he's big smile like wipe. And the son's cranking away, and this father's like, "This is what it's for." Absolutely, <laughs> it's gonna happen. It's gonna ha perfect marketing. If shout I out, if I paint out. it, I'd paint it. I yeah, can't. You know, hey, somebody <laughs> out there, that. let's get some magic in Nintendo, like, like truly, like, and they brought it to life in Lego form. Yep. Yeah, so like my son is obviously my younger son's really excited about these, like yeah, the play course, sets. Right. He he watched this with me this morning. He was like, "That's Mario. That's cool." Yep. But like this is oh, this is what he was super interested in. That's it. It's the two different markets. Yeah. And now we need the middle where there's some minifigure types. Well, stuff. that would be nice. That would be great. <laughs> so uh just throwing it out there. Not not a it's not like a chop chop, here we go, but you know. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Next thing. It's literally not even out. Next thing. Right, exactly. No, but I it's it's super cool, man. I, I never would have anticipated a Lego CRT. That that sentence itself is Look at this guy. Uh, you're trying to upstage Nintendo and Lego here? No, I got to say, they did such a good job on the build. Like, having built one before. And this build is a little weird because it was designed to enclose uh, an NES Classic. So it's oh, actually open on the inside. There's, like, a slot for the controllers to plug in and stuff like that. Um, but I think I can say I did one thing better. And oh, that's that my oh. buttons yeah. work. Uh, yep, yep. They line up with the buttons on the NES Classic, so you can use them to turn it on. That's perfect, yeah. That's sick. But otherwise, everything else is way better on the NES. So what you should do eventually is you have yours, and then you should take the printed tiles off of there and combine that with your mock. Yeah, 100%. 100%. It's definitely got to happen. idea for you. There you go, Nick. That's a stream for you. You're welcome. That's it. It's done. You're welcome. But yeah, the detail that they captured on that and like, I, I'm, oh, it's actually, oh, I was wondering about that. 
I was wondering how they got the little lip under like system there. There's like a very small yeah. lip for the flap. And mm -hmm. like just some of the techniques they've been working into sets these days just like blows my mind as a builder, which is absolutely amazing. How, absolutely how do they cool. connect? What, what, what's the port look like for inputting the controllers? I can't tell from this angle. Like, is it? Clipped? I can not tell either, actually. I think oh, they're it's... Clips. They're clips. Yeah. They're wow. clips. yeah they're one by two clips uh, center. Yeah. That's awesome. It's pretty good. Yes. These guys. Yeah, yeah, that. Yep. Yep. Perfect. Yeah, Actually, a couple of, you know, it's funny uh, seeing Nick hold up his model. A couple of years ago, I bought uh, Chris McVeigh's NES model that he had offered up for sale on his site. Yeah. Um, who's know, now a Lego designer for anyone who didn't know. Who, who, has, who has ascended, who's <laughs> ascended uh, into the clouds of Bill in Denmark. But um, he had a model. Um, it wasn't too big. I think it was like the size of this box, actually. Yeah. But he had a model because he used the string to have the controllers. Uh, and he had the two different cartridges that you could slide out and put into that. Yeah. That was pretty good. So there's clearly demand for a brick built NES. Yeah, we just didn't know it. <laughs> so the, I guess the only critique in terms of the presentation, which isn't even really a critique because it, it, it mm -hmm. works just fine as it is. But correct me if I'm wrong. I, I was not a glimmer in either of my parents' eyes when this happened. But when the NES first came out, wasn't it a cartridge with Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt? At that's that's time. what I had. I okay. had the one the one game that had both. Was that the? Defense? I have that box as well. Like I had that yeah. that package. So I think later on it, it became available separate. Yeah, but I think at at release it had both. Yeah. So that would be my only thing. I, I'm sure somebody is going to make a a custom light gun yeah. to put in there. <laughs> yeah. um, I think I saw Nick Frick already talking about doing it. There you go. Perfect. Like that. Good. That totally made. I mean, they probably didn't want to make a light gun and and put it in the set. Like that's yeah. fine. But um, and I think if they put the combined cartridge, people would have been like, why can't I build Duck Hunt? <laughs> Every sure, time I right. look at this, I see more printed details in the game that I didn't realize. Yeah. Like the the uh, warp pipe, the star. I mean, there's a lot of little printed stuff in the, the, the rotating game screen. And that, that's what's so cool because I've heard, you know, a lot of older fans be like, well, there's more stickers, especially in like the UCS sets and more of these bigger sets that, you know, the price and whatever. Yeah. But now it's all the little, little pieces too that have that, that printing. And it, it's just seeing it be Mario stuff that just, it, it does it for me. Like, I'm like, man, this is just really cool to see. So I'm glad that they made everything printed and turns. especially on the TV too. Like it, it looks mostly That's so good. Yeah. The, I saw a comment earlier, I think uh, from cafe con Lego saying the TV is the unsung hero yeah. of this set. And it, I mean, there's a, a ridiculous amount of details on that TV that I don't think you necessarily needed to have. No, but like all those one by ones backwards on the left side of it. Like that could have just been a blank area or just nuts, like standard plate. But like they went it there and like, that is honestly probably not going to be a very fun part of the build, but man, is it just give you it get, that uh, you just get one one controller, right? Yeah, one controller. Just yeah. 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 I don't, want so I don't want to play with my sibling. I just want one controller. Yeah. All right. <laughs> one player only. This is a single player game. I actually used to get in some pretty heated arguments with my sister over playing because, uh, you know, we both just wanted to play one player. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to play together. We don't want to. We just both want to play. It's just so cool that you can put Mario in there too, man. It's so so cool. And that's that that I know I joked about it earlier, but that's that you know connection of the generations that Nintendo has is you know you have your young one put the Mario on top, you build the CRT and yeah. the NES, and, and then we have the Norman Rockwell painting. Yes, exactly. We have the tear drop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, but that that's what Nintendo is. That's you know it's cross generational, cross generational, and it holds up throughout all the generations and it, it still plays well to this day, which makes this partnership even more fantastic overall. Yeah. It's great. And, and just the, that Mario, like the pixel Mario yeah. element uh, also looks pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh like custom, custom uniquely molded yep. element. Um, yeah. I don't think we know what the back of it looks like. I'm assuming it's going to be like the star from the Lego movie too. Where it's got like a certain shape and then there's a circular uh sure. input on the other side. Yeah. That's what I'm assuming. But it's looks like it to me too. Clever element. Yeah. And then obviously the integration, like someone commented in the chat, like the way that Mario actually like just moves along the level. They designed it so that the dish that he kind of rests on just slides along the whole level and interacts with it is just 
crazy creative. So it's really well done. Really well thought out. For anybody who's looked at Lego Super Mario and was like, you know, this isn't for me as an adult or as a teenager or whatever. Now you have a reason to be excited, in my opinion. And yep. who knows what's going to come down the pipeline. But uh, now we know for the sure. War pipe? Just this. So that was, I, I got it, Nick. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. <laughs> and, and, you know, it's, you know, not to get too businessy, but sure. it's a partnership. And both companies, of course, are looking to make money. That, that's, that's what it's about. So if you are a Nintendo fan and you are in support of these two brands working together, you need to vote with your wallet. That, that's just how it works. You know, I know I personally am like, I would love to see more of this. I'd love to see more themes, more products. So it has to be successful to justify the partnership becoming long term. Yeah. Um, you look at other, I think, uh, perfect examples like Minecraft. Yep. You know, test the water with the one uh, Lego Kuso set. It did really, really well. It did well enough that it encouraged a partnership to form. And it continues to do so well that you've got multiple different styles of products, like the bigger figs, the mini fig scale stuff. There was like the creative boxes of just like, yep. like basically a brick tub. And I think this could go along those same lines as long as they are successful right. and they make money and they're profitable. Because uh, I'm definitely looking for the long haul. Yeah. I am too. looking for long term. Uh, look, at, I just, you're distracting me with these beautiful <laughs> photographs. Um, I, I would love to see even the cartridge. Uh, like a lot more from yeah. this so you know it's like me personally uh i'm not as as excited about some of the play sets as i am this set but i'm definitely as soon as it was announced i'm like well i'll buy it all because i i support this partnership and i'd love to see more of it and i need to vote with my wallet um so that's just how i'm going about it that's my own thinking i love i, I think i saw a new elementary article about how those uh two by six tiles are new for for the set on the cartridge two by six well yeah right like uh yeah in that in that color yeah are there two by six tiles in general we're we're two two by, have we seen two by six tiles before oh well i don't think so to no. I, at least i personally cannot recall so that's pretty cool hmm. that's a new kid on the block right there check out new elementary for new element sightings <laughs> The name kind of implies it. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But they do it well. They do it well. So it's very cool. I, I will say, if there's one negative I have found about this whole thing, sure. um, it's the Canadian price in particular. Yeah, is like the furthest I've ever seen a Canadian price from the U.S. price. It's U.S. one ninety nine, Canadian two ninety nine. Normally, you would expect about a fifty dollar difference between a U.S. and Canadian yeah. at, at that range. Um, so I'm not gonna lie, as a Canadian very frustrated and disappointed for my fellow Canadians are going to be looking to grab that set. I'm, I'm more scared for like Australia and Brazil and places yeah. like that that normally get even crazier prices. So to see such a big discrepancy between the U S and Canadian, I can only imagine how much worse it's going to be is for there some other any, areas. Uh, um, you know, someone who is there in Canada, Nick, are there other products that you look at in terms of price? Like, I don't know, other toys or collectibles or, any, anything else where there is a pricing structure that is comparable to something like this, where you're looking at the discrepancies? Um, I mean, like, honestly, you could actually almost look at game consoles, like a Switch. In, like, a, I think a Switch. What, what's a regular Switch go for in the US? Two ninety nine USD. Two ninety nine. Yeah. Yeah, and it's three ninety nine in Canada. So, like, I think if you bring that down, because I think the Switch Lite goes for what one ninety nine. I think the Switch Lite in Canada is two forty nine, so that's where I would have expected yeah. a Lego NES to end up. And the fact that it's an extra fifty is just like, man, that's gonna it's gonna hit hard. Yeah, is it two twenty nine US? It is. It, yeah, actually, I was gonna. Uh, Do we have incorrect information? Post? Yeah, it it, it is two thirty. I thought it was one ninety nine as well. It's two thirty. I in the the press release had one ninety nine US. Oh. I'm going to use that and I'm going to say, do you price match? I'm going to go in the store. <laughs> I have on good authority. This is the price. Okay. Right. I'm, I'm, well, I mean, at least honestly, I feel less worse about it. So that's good. Yeah. <laughs> I, I saw there was a bunch of confusion uh, on Lego, like switching up okay. the price last minute and what, what would, what the actual price was. I think they had messed up in the original press release okay. or something like that. Yeah. All right. Well, I feel, I, I, it feels better now. So I can't, I can't argue as much. <laughs> Is so it Kevin, oh, wow. Okay. Yes. 
this is your first appearance on the quarantine cast. So we haven't gotten your uh, favorite uh, Mario game yet. So, like we have oh. to do with every every guest. Okay, you don't do that with every guest. Do, I was doing well, I, I, I mean, don't a lot of you that. Do that with, I, a few times I mean, I Mario is being discussed. We oh, we do that. Uh, so I would say. I think because uh, I've been listening to almost every quarantine cast. I've only missed like two, I think. Um, I usually listen while I'm working. Um, I think uh, I've heard Brian say earlier that uh, I, I do have a lot of love for Odyssey because I think it was done really, really well. But um, in terms of what Mario game is my favorite, I would say wh which one can I pick up and play a million times over? Uh, it is a really tough tie between World on the Super Nintendo and 64. It is like both of those I have played countless times all the way through. Um, 100% both of them. I mean, I'm not going to play it unless I'm going to 100% it. Um, so it is, it's really tough between those two. There you go. I would say Mario 64 over... Over World? World. Yeah, I... I I like world, but for some reason, my my brain clicks better with 3D. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a generational difference for some is like they yeah. never just got 3D. And like, you know, 2D is is totally fine. It just it, it just hits with me more like I, I can pick up 64. I could beat the whole thing right now. Totally fine. But like Mario, even Mario one, I'm like, all right, the the physics of the jumping versus everything else. It's, it's a little more difficult for me, but. Yeah. And Od yeah, Odyssey is just a bet. And that, that's what gives me more hope for Lego and Nintendo in the future is that, you know, we now it, it in a way it kind of reaffirms my theory, my speculation that I've I've brought on to this cast multiple times is that these sets are play sets for young uh, audiences that are based on the 2D Mario games because there's no Mario Sunshine, anything, no Luigi's Mansion, no anything like that. And then you have the classic, you know, Super Mario Brothers for the adult fan for, you know, I grew up in the 80s and I played this as a kid, that generation. So the fact that Super Mario Odyssey, Breath of the Wild, Splatoon 2, etc. are some of the best selling Nintendo games of all time. And the power of the Internet has made Nintendo and Lego more relevant now than ever before. There's more eyes on it. The video game section of the Internet. I would say eclipses Lego by a, a very wide margin because of just video games as a whole being more accessible for people. That that power infiltrating the 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 you know design room in Denmark, you get a lot of possibilities there. And Odyssey makes too much sense to to have like a brick built ship. You have a Peach's Castle, like you know this to me. The NES is the UCS set which I would have never predicted in my life. So right. congratulations, yeah. Lego, for outsmarting even someone. Rick's like O'Brien. <laughs> congratulations. You have outsmarted uh, Rick's yes. O'Brien. It's, just hard. it's a but. rare feat, but it, it is, does yeah. happen occasionally. Right, right. So who knows, you know, down the line, if we get a play set with minifigures, I still stand by. It'll absolutely be Peach's Castle, uh, either based off of 64, Odyssey, or something else entirely unique and new. But this is definitely... Seeing both of these is good and does not negate the possibility of minifigure based sets down the line. So there's still hope. I, I have a feeling that Trump card is still in the hand. It's not in the deck right now. It's in the hand. It's ready to go. It's just a matter of when. So we'll see. That's that's my own speculation. But that's just me. I, I would stand by that. I would stand by that. There's, yeah. there's no way they're going to ignore that massive portion of the, the market. And it, like of the Lego fan base that just loves minifigs, they're so iconic. You know, they're they're a reason that like you could like you could show pretty much anyone in the world a minifigure, and they'll probably go, "Oh yeah, that's Lego." Yeah, right. Like, without you know even ever having really interacted one with with one before, maybe. Um, so yeah, the, the, for them to completely ignore that aspect would be to me just completely insane. Um, but like you said, this this was definitely out of like out of nowhere and. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully they'll have more surprises for us, and hopefully they'll consider other types of consoles in the future. Um, yeah, right. Now, 
I can promise you that the NES that's coming out is not going to have digital exclusive ex instructions. It's going to be probably a nice thick manual with the history of Nintendo yeah. because they know. Yeah. yeah and, that, and that's totally fine. Now, if they went all digital with that, I'd be like, all right, man, maybe not quite because we're going too far. Yeah. It's a very highly detailed set. It's very, you know, but the technology is definitely different from years ago, too. You can go back in steps. You can see what pieces are in there, rotate it. Yeah, so. the fact that you can rotate it is pretty, yeah. am pretty amazing. Yeah, right. So for kids, it, that, that's the, the, the thing I've kept telling people for kids, for kids, for kids, for kids. Like, can't emphasize that enough. 